Hello ladies. I wanted to pop in for a quick Facebook Live. Um, and this came up after uh, a post was made in our group this morning. Um, and I want to just say, guys, sometimes hormone replacement is not a do-it-yourself project. And this is a particular instance of when that shouldn't be the case. So um, one of our members posted this morning that uh, she was concerned about weight gain with using weight gain, pardon me, not weight gain, with using um, over-the-counter estrogen cream at home. Um, and I was like, huh? Uh, because usually most people are using progesterone cream and, and not estrogen cream. However, estrogen cream is available over-the-counter if you look hard enough, and I've recommended that to clients who... Um, have had testing done and know that their that their levels are are low and we do that with supervision and retesting. Um, this person also knew that her levels were low, but the concern was is that she still had her uterus, and because of this, um, as many of you know, if you, you use estrogen by itself, even postmenopausally, and you still have a uterus, you're setting yourself up. To potentially get uterine cancer and that's because the estrogen causes the endometrial lining which is the lining of your uterus to start growing and so you don't have enough estrogen on board more than likely from the cream to cause you to have a period and so if that lining just continues to grow and grow and grow then you can potentially develop what's called hyperplasia, which can then turn into cancer in the worst case scenario. And vaginal estrogen cream doesn't carry the same risks. So just know that if you are um, on vaginal estrogen cream and you haven't had a hysterectomy, you're, you're probably okay. But if you do have your uterus and you're using any kind of oral estrogen or you're using an estrogen cream as a replacement, then you need to be on some sort of progesterone to counterbalance the effects of the estrogen. So, um, you know, there's so many things that are available to us out there in the universe of Google, um, all kinds of information, all kinds of products. And honestly, this is, this one kind of scared me, so I was like, well, I need to get on here and talk about this as my, as my public service announcement for the day. But you can get DHEA over the counter. Um, that turns into testosterone and estrogen in women because it travels down the same pathway and it splits and some turns into estrogen and some turns into testosterone. In most women, it turns into testosterone. You can get progesterone, as we all know. Um, you can't get oral progesterone, but you can get progesterone cream in a million different forms. Um, you can get over-the-counter estrogen cream, and um, it's actually the same strength as some of the biased creams I've recommended for people. So it, it, just because it's available over-the-counter doesn't mean that it's not without risk. So, um, you know, I know that working with somebody individually is expensive, and there are a lot of reasons for that, and I know that insurance doesn't, um, doesn't pay for it more often than not, but if you put yourself in a situation that's dangerous and you end up with something like uterine cancer, the expense of working with somebody is going to be a whole lot less than it will be to get the uterine cancer taken care of. So, um, guys, be careful. Keep asking good questions. And um, stay safe out there. I'll talk to you soon.